before I um, had this tool, before I made it, before I developed it and made it and that, I, a few years ago I wanted to uh, have a reboard on. But the thought of the loose rollers and the thought of taking the engine out and put me off. So I didn't do the job. Hmm. Don't blame you. It needed developing. Yeah, and you've certainly developed it by the looks of things. It works, I'm happy with this. Now. Brilliant. Just get a load of grease around here. This is the first part of the tool. I've put one spacer on. The do you have to put loads of grease on there? And if you do, why? Like? Well, put plenty on, just enough for them to stick to. Um, well, fair enough. Yeah. You know, they don't need too much at this uh, stage. Right. So, and you don't have to be too fussy. And, and you're rebuilding that bearing to go back in, aren't you? If yeah. I'm getting it right. Yeah. This. Uh, and we've got to rebuild it on this tool before it can go back in. It's impossible to put these loose rolls in the small end without using this tool. And that bearing, Pacific bearing, has to go back in. Can it be another one which is, I don't know, enclosed or something? I mean, I don't know. But Well, you can get aftermarket caged rollers for the small end. But I've had a lot of problems with those in the sense that the tolerances have been way out. Some gudgeon pins have been too tight, some too loose. So, really, it's best to put back what you took out, basically. Right, because, uh, okay, yeah. Would you ever knew what they were doing when they made yeah. them, you know? Yeah, oh, oh, that sounds... Uh, right, so a bit more gross. Understandable. And there we are, assembling it. Don't have to be too fussy. Right, just get the grease on, wipe them down. I, I mean, that you're making it look easy, but is that is that actually easy to do? Oh, it's... I mean, it's anyone mechanically minded is going to know. Halfway there, I suppose. A bit of grease, that's all it is. The grease does the work, it really does. It really does the work. Don't, don't have to be too fussy. Just stick them on, like that, and just spread them out. Because we know there's 28 of them. There's 28? There's 28 of those loose rollers. That go on. See, I think that's it. A few more there, two here. And that's it. See? So that now, yeah, that which it. is assembled on the tool, we don't want to put the other spacer on yet. What we want to do is get this assembly. See, see the grease does do the trick, doesn't mm, it? Hold it together, yeah. together. You'd yeah. never do that without a grease. Yeah, no. Right, so, now, yeah. straight in there. And then you put the other spacer on that. Like. Right. Right, so then we're going to put the piston on. Right. Arrow facing down, that way. So all we have to do, really, is put it in place. Just line it up. So we get this second part of the tool with the grease nipple on. And we just push it through, line it up. And that'll come through the other side, will it? Yeah, just push it in, line it up, and then move it around, and it'll go straight through that, will. Like, just like that, okay? So now, the first part of the tool there, which I was assembling with the... Uh, loose rollers, mm -hmm. that, that's out now. Right. So okay. It's all assembled in there. So is it, is it like a three part manoeuvre or is it, I don't know, is, is that the way it works? Well is it? It, it is if you include putting the gudgeon pin back in, that's the final part and it's the part. Right so we've got the gudgeon pin and as soon as that's in there, that's your loose rollers done. Done. Right back in. There we go. Yeah. Push the gudgeon pin in, get the server clips in, because once this piston cools down, you won't move that gudgeon pin. 
Right, all assembled, done. Loose rollers. There you go. As it was meant to be. One piston. Made, yeah, that's it. Connected, no problema. And how long did that take? Well, not to make the tool, but how long did that take to assemble that just? Well, two, three minutes. Do you know what I mean? Two, three minutes. Two, three minutes. How long would it take without the tool? Uh, in general. Oh, to put the loose rolls in? Yeah. You'd never do it. Impossible. So, I've noticed these little things hanging up on the wall there. I mean, is these oh, other little yeah, tools you've invented? or? These are other tools I've made for specific jobs oh, right, yeah. on Java CZ. And you can't buy these in the shops, I take it? Well, you oh, might right, be able yeah. to buy the puller. Puller? Oh, what's that for then? That's a primary puller, oh. primary sprocket puller, Java CZ. And this is, the, uh, this is for tiny. Right. And you're not going to tell us too much about that, not are you? Not too much at the moment. Oh, Alright, no. we'll wait till the next time. Okay. Right, so uh, you've assembled the uh, bearing and you've put it <coughs> in the small end and you put the piston on. So disassembling is another story, I take it. Yeah, much easier one though. If I get this tall. A much easier story. I like that. Oh, I do like do easy it stories. Is an easier story, okay yeah. then. So we put the tall in. Oh, so yeah, at the other end, yeah. Push the grudging pin out. And there's this part of the tool there with the recess. The recess end obviously goes over the mm -hmm. yep. uh, grease nipple right. there. Got that. But if this is going to be the first time that you're going to take it off, and the rollers are dry mm. and loose, yeah. you need to put the grease gun on. Right, yeah, yeah, like yeah. This. I'm with you. Bang it on there. How much? About... Four, five, six, as much as you want, really. Yeah, you can't put you, too you much grease in this No, no, not too much. So now we've uh, filled this small end there with grease. So now we can actually get this tool out. Uh, the recess side on the grease nipple. Push it in. Take it down. That part of the tool out. Lift the piston off. Mm. And then, final part of the tool layer, purely just for pushing it out. And then, straight out in one go. There you go. There you go. That's it. And that could save a headache. It could save a nightmare. <coughs> because if you disassemble it, without knowing previous knowledge, mm. without this... Which a lot of people do, I take it. Well, I've done it myself in the beginning. We all do it, don't ago. we? We just, we just do it. You know, simple job, needle rollers straight down the crankcase, that's it then, that's the end. Engine out, strip down, so highly recommended. So